everybody, every place has two sides. The showgirl is downright unrecognizable without the feathers and sequins. Behind all the armor, the gladiator is just a dude who doesn't feel like swinging a sword some days. There are certain destinations that rarely, if ever, get to take off the costume or the armor. It's always ready for the show, always ready for the fight, because it's what the people want. It's what they came to see. This is what happens when one of the country's most diverse fisheries, and arguably its most infamous party destination, reveals both sides. El Nino flexes its muscles, the white caps butt heads like bighorn sheep, and the fish go into hibernation. What's left is what's always been there, a close-knit fishing community on a first-name basis. But then the sun breaks through, the bite is on, and the place immortalized in your screensaver comes back to life. Welcome to the Key West you know, and the Key West you've never met. It's a good thing when you run out of pavement. That means you've arrived. Mile marker zero, the Conch Republic, the southernmost city in the US, Hemingway's playground, land of the free and home of the feral chickens. In case you've been studying for finals your entire life, here's a quick geography lesson. Traveling south, Key West is the last populated island in the Florida Keys, the bookend to Key Largo. It's a two by four mile spit of land, 90 miles from Cuba, and five steps in any direction from your next favorite hangout. Key West has a history of pirates and bootleggers, of shipwrecks and Spanish governors. To look out into the seaport is to imagine triple mass galleons armed with cannons. A step inside the colonial building of Old Town takes you back to a time when Spain, Cuba, and the United States traded claims to this banana republic. A tale riddled with war, piles of pesos, and the jingoistic planting of flags. Today, it's known for the happiest of hours. The bar stools have been buffed by countless bikinis. The streets run red with spilled rum runners and live music echoes from Sloppy Joes and Dirty Harry's. Despite its popularity among spring breakers, there's hardly a beach to be found. But somehow they manage without. College kids are one resilient bunch. What the angler will find is fish, and plenty of them. It's a blue water aquarium. The most popular saltwater species are present in these waters, from amberjack to yellowtail. But some are more synonymous with Key West. In shallow water, it's permit. Mr. Permit, little guy, ate it like he was eating a topwater. It's cool. Elusive as they are silver, they require a more stealth approach. The ideal recipe is a live crab, a high tide, and an afternoon sun. The backcountry is the domain of the Silver King, where a hookup guarantees a good show. Coming up, coming up. <laughs> Sweet jump, dude. Yep. Look at the little buddy. <laughs> Ever the predator, sharks give chase to whatever's on the line. Good luck getting your catch over the gunnel before a bull takes aim. <laughs> Near shore and offshore, there's lots of structure. Reefs, wrecks, even radio towers that attract numerous species.
Key West has never had a relationship with a winter blizzard. Don't think they've ever been on a date. Until now. Our week-long shoot in the Keys takes place just as winter storm Jonas drops more than a foot of snow on 14 northeastern states, breaking snowfall records in at least half a dozen locations. Even from 1,200 miles away in the Florida Keys, the storm's effects are felt locally, dropping water temperatures and creating zero vids. This job requires reinforcements, and I've got just the men for the job. I throw up the bat signal and call on a couple guides in Sugarloaf Key, brothers I've known for years. They know all the spots. Yeah, buddy. Even ones Jonas couldn't find. Sport Fishing Television is brought to you by Ram Trucks, powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. By Yellowfin, your legacy. By Simrad, go with confidence. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. The duo, two peas in a pod, the brothers Holman. I first met Bear and Travis in New Orleans, doing the usual, bar hopping, troublemaking. We became fast friends. The Holman brothers call the Keys home, but these boys have lived all over. Hell raising for them is a pastime. Born in Texas, raised in Oklahoma, snowboard instructors in Colorado, guides in Louisiana. They tore up the tournaments in the Redfish Cup, the SKA, World Sailfish Championships, and plenty of others. These brothers are just fishy. Throw them into any environment and they get it right away. They are naturals. Travis, the older brother, he runs a manual. <laughs> One of those guys who likes to educate and learn at the same time. A boat builder, gearhead, a hell of a guide, and above all, the best boat handler I've ever met. Whatever the conditions, I trust the keys to Travis in any situation. Yeah, guides so don't have to be in a cubicle like the rest of the world. Plus, it's a reason to go do things. I mean, just traveling, you know, it's, it's cool and all, but if you're traveling to go do something, yeah, way cooler. We don't necessarily go for the fish. The fish is just the reason to go. Bear is the jovial giant. He is a walking party and everyone wants to join in. He's a celebrity in his own right. The unelected mayor of the Keys. And always up to fish, no matter what. You know, I mean, I keep guiding because I like finding new things and catching stuff and watching people smile. Modern day explorer, you know? Exploring, they already explored. Get another one. Together, though, it's the Dukes of Hazard on the sea. <laughs> he danced on me. <laughs> they got pretty eyeballs. I had to shift gears a little bit and find the clean water. It just so happens it's a long ways from home. <laughs> that went well. We got ourselves a little groovy group. Craziest front ever. There you go. There you go, buddy. Cool little fishes. See that little vampire right there? The vampire gets you. After long days on the water with the boys, it's time for a proper Holman get together. Family, locals, neighbors downwind from the barbecue. The Holmans don't do anything at medium pace. That's chicken. If you're gonna eat in their house, it's not a little of this and a little of that. It's all of that, please. There you go. Okay. And as soon as you're done with a plate and have a cocktail or two, it's time to do it again. 
a continuous living the dream moment. We all have our druthers, but the Holman brothers know how to have fun, rain or shine, on and off the water, especially on the water. So go ahead, throw a monster cold front at these two. Watch what happens. The gears kick into motion. Experience mixed with gut feeling comes together to form a strategy. And it's on like Donkey Kong. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By Penn, let the battle begin. And by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Driven to Fish, powered by Ram Trucks. After days of rough weather and rougher seas, Key West is finally breaking up with Jonas, the baddest blizzard in 20 years. Turquoise waters, gorgeous. But you can't see in it, makes it tough. We're gonna go out and give her hell today. The air warms up and the water temperature rises a few degrees, just enough to provide a window of opportunity. Well, let's call it what it is, a few hours to get fish to the boat. After all, no fish, no fishing show. Yesterday, I was hoping it would warm up like it did today. If it would have done this yesterday, it would have been back in the game. I mean, the water temperature already came up. Five degrees, six degrees, you know. One day to make it happen, Cap. This is no longer an angler's adventure. It's a multiplayer video game where high score wins. Just keep hammering that X button, boys. Fire away, rack up those points, and earn extra lives. We have to complete this level. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. Let's go. Jack Ravel, one of my favorite game fish. Highly underrated species. Keeps us busy a lot of the times when it's slow. I am officially the Blue Runner King. <laughs> Those are some more Daka Blue Runners. That was an AJ. A little bitty fella. Come on, kill again and more. Oh, Jackamus. Oh, Cobia. Real mangroves. <laughs> nice, Mangy. Good job, Ooh. Grammy. Oh, that's a hog snapper. That's a monster. <laughs> Having used all of our arcade tokens, we head north to Summerlin Key where the future of South Florida's fisheries is taking shape. Coral reefs make up less than 1% of the ocean's floor, yet they are essential to the livelihood of the inhabitants. The Florida reef track has been deteriorating for decades. 
thanks to a scientific breakthrough at the Moat Tropical Research Laboratory. It's a new day every day. One of the biggest things that we have going with, with restoring coral reefs is not only the health of, of the ocean, but it's restoring the fishery habitat that is so important to a healthy fishery. So healthy reefs equal healthy fisheries, and that's really a good way to look at it when you're out there as an angler. Their new approach to coral reef restoration may just save the Florida reef trek and the ecosystem it sustains. Through a process called microfragmentation, tiny pieces of coral are grown at an astounding rate, up to 40 times faster than previous methods. To put this in perspective, microfragmentation can create a 50-year-old coral head in just two years. I looking at the past uh, successful things such as building forests and building mangroves back, uh, we decided to see what we could do with growing corals back, knowing that we thought it was gonna be a slow process, but it's a game changer now. In fact, uh, most people around the world do not even believe what success we're getting. A few small behavioral changes that can be made that easily influence the future of our fishery. You can see the changes happening, and tell you what, we're gonna talk a little bit more about some small things that will impact the future. And the good news keeps coming. Yeah! Jonas is gone. Yesterday's clickbait. Key West is getting its mojo back. Better buckle up. Calm is going to take a shift off. And chaos is punching in. Sport Fishing Television is being brought to you by Ram Trucks. Powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. By King Sailfish Mounts for that once in a lifetime catch. By the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. And by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Winter Storm Jonas puffed its chest during our trip. It gave us some trouble, but it went up against troublemakers. An even fight. We bob and weave until we meet our next match, the infamous Mr. Brown. A barracuda turns into bait. Shark. And up the food chain we go. Travis is a kid in a candy store. So you take much crew here, use his heart, watch what happens behind the boat. At the same time, he realizes that pulling in this bull will be a long battle. It's going to be painful, but it's fun. The bull circles the cuda like a vulture. It snakes through the water, waiting for the right moment to strike. Darks on the cuda. And it does. Yes. He cuts us off. We just shake it off. The bull sends us a message. Hang on, stick it out, see what's up ahead. Yeah. Reef donkeys come our way. Amberjack are guaranteed to put up a good fight, packed with power as they buck their way to the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The AJs keep coming and coming, like a herd on the trail. That's a big one. He killed me, bro. There ain't no joke. Oh. Yeah! Nice work. Little AJ. <laughs> That's a stud right there. It's the AJ show, you know? The Holman brothers are a reminder of what fishing is all about. It brings people together. It's evolutionary within this community. Clients become friends, friends become family, laughing, busting chops, having a blast, even when there's a nor'easter at your back, not sweating the small stuff. Travis and Bear complement each other. There's friendly competition. The brotherly bond makes its way into any nearby group. They attract attention, downright magnetic. Onlookers wish they were part of the fun and want to hop aboard. A spot aboard their boat is a seat at the cool kids' lunch table. 
It's not all about the numbers at the end of the day, but how we got there and who we got there with. The Florida Keys takes off its winter coat. The sun breaks through in rays, shedding light on what's been in hiding this entire trip. Ladies and gentlemen, put your... This, this is the Key West we all know. Loud, non-stop, won't stop, an in-your-face, high-octane, 180-proof party. And that's just on land. Wait until you get on the water. Trust me, the sequel is better than the original.